hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Jumai. in today's video i'll be talking about the structuring of the supporting information this is an information that is needed during your job application as a biomedical scientist radiographer physiotherapist and others and at the end of this video i'll also be mentioning other criteria other things that are needed to be done alongside the supporting information in order for you to land a job that you've always wanted, interview invites and others. So if this is what you'd like to see, kindly stick around to the end of this video. You don't want to miss any part. Hello, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Juma. If you're coming across this face for the first time, you are highly welcome. Please click the subscribe button and make sure you give it a like, a thumbs up so that the video can reach as much people as possible. Kindly like, comment in the comment section. If you have any questions, I would answer you. For my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around and coming back. So for today's video, as I've said earlier, I'll be talking about structuring of your supporting information. Supporting information is a very important part of your job application as a biomedical scientist, radiographer, physiotherapist. When you're applying on the NHS job, tra um, job website, track job website, all these have made videos about. You can go back to my previous videos and you'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. So today, your supporting information, the supporting information section is actually the section that wants you to sell yourself. They want you to tell them who you really are. It's just like your CV. You know, your CV speaks for you when you are not there. Nobody knows you. They don't really know where you are from. But when you have your CV, when you send your CV out for job hunting, that will speak for you. So this supporting information is like a selling point. So you need to sell yourself in this supporting information section so the first thing first is what they want to see in that supporting information is that you have read the job description the person specification and you actually know what you're applying for so state it that should be like the beginning paragraph and when you are constructing your supporting information make it a paragraph and make the storyline flow don't just put everything in one paragraph without any section you no know, structure to read there's no um no way to, to 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 enjoy the story you're trying to tell them what you're trying to say they're not really getting it you're just saying this and this yeah you know adding one or two together and you're joining everything in one paragraph so make sure everything is make sure at least two three to four paragraph is fine or three paragraph is okay you should demonstrate in the first paragraph that you've read the job description person specification this you can find this in the document that is always attached at the end of the job advert so that is what the first paragraph should contain followed by your work experience okay you say you're applying for this particular role and you understand this you've read about this you've worked here okay what is your work experience does it even tally with what you're trying to apply for don't make a generic supporting information. That is the mistake that people make. They make a generic supporting information. For instance, as a biomedical scientist, we have departments, we have specialty. So when you make a generic supporting information and you, you apply for chemistry, you apply for microbiology department, you apply for methodology with that, it's only that one. You are not being specific. So that will not help you. It will not. So after your work experience, in your work experience, make that work experience specific. Do you understand? I know that during internship, you went around the department, all the department, all the section, and you feel, oh, I've been around everything. Or presently, you're working. You understand what I mean? In in, in your country, in some workplaces, most workplaces, you do everything as a gener generalist. Yes, you can say as a generalist. But when it comes to applying for jobs, you need to be specific. I believe it is the same way for physiotherapist, radiographer. I believe it is the same way. So make it, tailor it to the job advert. Please, always know what, it, don't be lazy when it comes to this job application. So the second paragraph should be about your work experience. How it relates, what the equipment you have used, that make sure you check the job advert for the equipment they have, the ones you are using or the ones you've used before. Try to remember. 
and make sure even if it's not even exactly but definitely to be close to it so put it there let them understand that you know the use of it put it there as well so follow by your skills your strength put it there and your skill your strength here you can sell yourself as well tell them why you say you are a team leader tell them why you say you are you are you are hard working tell them why you say you love uh, um, you love teamwork or you are this you are that make put reasons don't just say i am enthusiastic i am conscientious i am hard working i am this i am that yes we've heard that we've heard a lot of that but how how have you ever demonstrated it at your workplace you must have worked in a place where you have cited these examples so how have you done this so please put it there put it at that section then the next section make it like a story furthermore in conclusion you know moreover you know however all those things put it there so in the last section you should tell them what you're bringing to the role what sets you apart right what you are bringing that is very very important like what what makes you think that out of all the millions of people applying for this post they should pick you if you have anything that makes you stand out maybe you are the coordinator of an um let me give you guys this hint this is like a hint you know it's my little secret so let me give you if you know that you've ever had like a quality assurance team in your department put it there that is a selling point put it there so this section you sell yourself as well so put it there that sets you apart from the regular people demonstrate how you've been able to help your department achieve this achieve that during a particular quality assurance uh, team work or any designated uh, work that has been given to you to lead tell them how you've been able to do things differently that is what really sets you apart what you would bring to the group so these are the things they want to see in your supporting information don't just put any generic thing and feel they would just take it as it is so the last but not the least secret that i want to give to you the information i want to give to you is that it is it doesn't hand only on your supporting information when you have a good supporting information don't just end it there your job description does it tally with the job advert that you're putting in for does it don't just put up a, a job description for hematology and you're applying for microbiology department do you understand so does it really tally and there's a key thing that you should always look out for when you are applying in the personal specification always look out for keywords i have heard that sometimes that there's an, an application that filters candidate application i wouldn't know how true it is but if that is true i would want you to read the person specification very well and pick out key points that are needed that they want to see in you as a candidate pick it out and put it in your supporting information this way it will be able to attract them you know we want someone that has the skills and they see the skills in your supporting information and you're able to tell them how you demonstrate these skills why not they would be interested to meet you they will be interested to invite you for interview so this is my little way of giving out information on the job description the supporting information how to package your application to earn you that interview that you always yearn for so if you've watched this video up to this point i hope you've gained one or two things please kindly subscribe subscription is free hit the like button the notification bell so that you'll be able to receive the alert of my content as I drop it and kindly share this link to people that you know will be of help to. Thank you so much. If you have any question, I'll be in the comments section. I'll be there. If you have any information that you like me to research on and make a video about it, I will also be there waiting. So thank you so much and I hope to see you in my next video. Do take care. Bye.